Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm Pixie, and today we're going to paint the uh, a butterfly. And this is a idea of a monarch butterfly. Not exactly. It's just an idea. Um, represents a monarch butterfly. And we're what we're going to learn today is um, shape, color, and texture. Right. So my shape I already drew it. So. Uh, but you'll get to do, you know, um, the antennas and stuff like that and draw that stuff. But the, the texture is how we put our paint on and how we blend it. So this is using the teeny tiny paintbrush, right? Look at my tana, tana, little, little, look how little those little scratches are, e -e 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 -e, right? They, you can see that in the texture. But then this one I did with my finger. I just wanted to see how it looked. And it looks like tie-dye, right? And then I just permit it to have an unusual texture. It looks like fire, right? And that works. That's fun. So it depends on what texture, what kind of texture you want, right? So the, 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 and then, so it's shape, color, and color, we always want 3D, right? Dark, medium, light. Well, that's only when we're shadowing, not in the background and not in our black, but we want dark pink, the pink in the corner, and then it turns orange, then yellow, then white. But the goal is when two colors touch, right? It's not like a flag. Ugh. It's, we go like this and we let two colors make a new color until it disappears. And everyone's like, oh, well, my paint didn't disappear. Just clean your paintbrush, get some of the paint off and then push, push, push a little more. Then it will disappear. Some people just get huge amounts of paint and it will never disappear. Right? So the only way to learn that is by doing it yourself. Cecilia has a question. Um, what kind of paint brushes do we need? Oh, these are our paint brushes. We have a great big giant one for the background, right? Then we have a, a little itty bitty one and she's for do, painting the windows. She looks little, but when you smash her, she's actually big and you can use this, the side of the paintbrush and not just the teensy tiny tip like that. And then we have this big square one and this is only for, oh, let me hold it up higher, only for when we do the black, right? Because if we had to use the tiny paintbrush for the black, we would be here all day. So this is just bigger so we can be more of a bulldozer and push and pull our paint around a little more. Right? Because like that would take with the tiny paintbrush would do forever. Okay? So we have three paintbrushes. Okay, you guys ready? So now we're going to paint the background. So we know how we've done this before. How do you outline with paint? Do you guys remember? So we get a huge amount of paint scoop and then our paintbrush goes uh, next to the line we want to outline and our paintbrush goes boom. and then we sneak up and let one hair touch the, the sharpie and then push our paint we don't wiggle or scribble or anything that's for crayons and markers and and color pencils because one little line of color comes out at a time all annoying paint is thick so we just push our paint and pull our paint and it's nice and thick. Okay, let's make our turquoise color. So we got this turquoise in white like this. If I left it just this turquoise color, it actually dries really, really dark. Like, mm. so adding a little bit of white to it just will make it a little brighter, right? So we're gonna open that. Oh, look at all that I have in my lid. And I can use my big paintbrush and here's my trick for this is because I have pushed paint right out of my cup onto my floor. So if we make small circles at first and watch its color change, because there's white on the bottom. And then once I'm pretty sure she changed colors, pretty, oh, wait, no, still changing. Right? Then I scratch the side, I just use my paintbrush and scratch the sides. Because look at all that good turquoise that's not getting in there. And I sc scratch, and this is when paint tries to fall out. Scratch the sides. Because look at all, oh, okay. And then I stir again. Look at in the bottom. There's, I still got white in there, let me get it. But I'm care careful and slow because paint tries to jump out of the cup. Okay, it looks mixy-mixy. 
okay and then I just kind of wipe my paintbrush off on the edge if you got a bunch of paint on your on your metal right that means you might get it on your fingers you could wipe that off but I didn't I was calm usually when I stir like a crazy person I get it all over the silver but I was calm right so you guys ready to, to uh did you come out pretty is it pretty the color right I know I, I would wear this uh, like a cute outfit. I don't know. It's an adorable color. Okay, turquoise. So now we got paint all of our paintbrush. So if we need to outline the entire butterfly first, because we're going to protect our butterfly from the background paint. Okay. So if we outline it, the whole big paintbrush goes boom and makes a big fat line around the whole, whole butterfly. Then when we paint the background, it's very unlikely you're gonna hit your butterfly because it's almost like a two finger protection, right? So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ne not touching yet, but next to smash and sneak up till one hair touches, oh, there it is. And then I push like a bulldozer. Hey, it got dry already, what the heck? So should I scribble and try to get more paint out of it? No, just poke your turquoise paint, poke. And then I go smash and sneak up to it again. Push. Oops, I'm too low. Put, put, put. And what if I get a little bit of turquoise in my butterfly? Is that bad? No. Because what, what goes on top of the turquoise? The black. So if we hurt anything, if we get a little bit in our butterfly, we're going to fix it again when we do the black. And then as soon as it turns dry, too dry. So I get more turquoise, poof! And then I get, get close and I let one hair do all the painting and I'm just pushing for smoothness. No wiggles or squiggles because it makes a furry edge, if that makes sense. Picking up your paintbrush like this up and down, up and down, actually makes these start and stop marks and it's very hard to control. So if I, if you trust me, just push like this and let one, because do you know why? We are practicing for the black part. What? This is exactly how you get smooth lines inside your butterfly. So watch me, everybody pause and look up again. Watch me. So I'm gonna go smash, what, smash. And I let push, and I'm trusting, I'm thick, I'm pushing. Okay, I did not pick up my paintbrush. So let me show you. Here's that outline. If I do not pick up my paintbrush and I just push my black, it's perfectly smooth on both sides. So we are practicing that concept by doing it on the background. So we're not picking up our paintbrush. We just push for smoothness. And I let the glob of paint squish out. You know how a bulldozer pushes sand? And then on either side of the, of the bulldozer, there'd be a pile of sand like this. And then there'd be a pile of sand. We're using that pile of sand idea that bulldozers do to make smooth on both sides. Knowing the paint squishes out to the sides, it's smoother when you have more paint. So is it better to have a little bit of paint? No. Get a stab of paint, a disgusting amount. Are you hearing me? I got a lot. And then I go above the line. Oops, you can't see because of my hand. And then I let one hand, I push. Oh, then it got dry. I have paint on the other side. Let me flip over my paintbrush. Okay. But I let one hair touch that and I pushed. And it's a huge amount of paint. Why so much paint? Because we're bulldozers and we're pushing this thick peanut butter frosting type paint. It's completely smooth and thick. Not thin. Thick and smooth. You have to trust me. I'm serious about it being thick. If it's thin, the white canvas will peek through it and you'll be like, why can I still see the white? Because you put it on so thin. So I'm a, now I get to slide down the side. Roller coaster. Whee! And then it only goes halfway. <gasps> see? Right about halfway. It ran out of paint. So I wiggle. No. Stab my paint. And get more nice. Thick paint. How come we can do this? Because you can handwrite. 
If you can handwrite, you've been learning how to trace letters since you were a BB, right? So you're like, oh, oh, I'm just doing what I've always done and it's a built-in skill already inside my head. So good for me. Use this skill all the time. Who beat me? Uh oh, Echo. Try again. Br Branda, go ahead and ask your question. You're unmuted. You're good. You can talk. I see you. Go, Brenda, ask your question. Oh, she muted herself. Okay, never mind. It was just an echo I heard. Did someone else have a question right there? No. Okay. It's Pixie. Are there two um, devices in your room? Yeah. That I hear myself. I hear the echo. Miss Pixie, is it okay if you accidentally put the blue? And kind of next to the butterfly. Yeah, look, look what, what, look what happens next to the turquoise next. When we do the black, the black goes on top of the turquoise because the butterfly is in front. So we do the black last. Does that make sense? So any little oopsie gets fixed by the black. Okay, I'm ready. Who's ready? Who beat me? We have a good outline? Okay. So now we're going to paint the whole background, right? But we're going to paint it two times. Right? So the first time, we're trying to get rid of all this white. But you think, oh, I did such a good job. But as soon as you start painting it and it starts to dry, you're like, oh, I can see right through it. So then we paint it the second time. And the second time, we're doing it all smooth and careful and smooth, straight lines. The second time. The first time, just get rid of the white. So I just stab my, stab my turquoise. Goodbye. Oh, and look at the color difference from my outline. And I just put new color on there. The color darkens as it dries. So don't become alarmed. It's just dark paint, dry paint is darker than wet paint. Don't think, oh, I have to repaint over that. No, it's just darker because it's dry. Uh, Jal 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 Jalisa has a question. Um, are we going to have to... Are we using the same brush? Same paintbrush, same paint. Now we're just kind of in a scribbly mode. Just buy white, get out of here. And then look how sometimes I put it on so thin, the white is showing, which is why we're going to do this twice. You think, oh, I did such a good job painting it. And then you go, it dries and you're like, oh my God, I put it on see-through right there. So the first time, just get rid of white. Bye. Goodbye. I don't want to look at any white background. So stab your paint, and then I push and shove and push and shove and push and shove and push and shove. I push my paint around, <laughs> right? And then is it bad to have a lot of paint on your paintbrush? No, it's just the same as having a lot of peanut butter on your knife. You're still gonna smear it around. And I push. I'm sorry, say that again. Can we dip it in white? No, nope, no white. We are just making it turquoise. Okay, now I have left is my top. I saved it because it's the biggest piece. This is where I'm no good at it because I always make it too thin. And then I'm like, hey, I can see right through my paint. But I'm doing it two times. So I learned my lesson. Two times is best. Who beat me? Almost. Oh, Jacqueline beat me. It's not a race. I just think it's funny to say that. Just keep painting, keep painting, scribbly, scribbly, push and pull paint. If you get a teensy amount of paint and scribble a teensy amount of paint, how long is this going to take you? We're going to move on without you. So go like this. Stab your paint and get a disgusting amount of paint and then... Push and pull and smear and smash and push and pull and smear and smash. There. So much easier. The whole teensy tiny thing, that's for like doing delicate. This is not tiny or little. Just paint the thing. 
push and shove and push and shove. And your paintbrush is like a, a sponge too. Like you go, oh, I have a giant blob right there. If you touch it with your paintbrush, the paintbrush will pick it up and then you could put that blob somewhere else. Oh, there's a big blob. Let me get it, get it, get it. Okay, put it over there. All right. Shovey, shovey, pushy, pushy. More paint, more paint. I say that because I spot people getting little tiny pokes of paint. You're like, that's good, take a little. I'll fall asleep. Way more paint. If you're pushing really hard, there's no paint on your paintbrush. Just get more paint. Make the paint do the work. Get more paint, push. And then all of a sudden, gone. It's like gone, it's fixed. Exactly. Let the paint smush around. Okay, so everybody pause and look up real quick. I painted mine, right? But it's a scribbly, weirdo texture. I didn't even care. Now I'm going to paint it again with what's left in my cup. But now I'm going to do it for smoothness. And I'm just going to do another. It's all the white's gone. So this is super easy. But I just kind of, I'm just going to, and I just keep making, if it's slippery, I know it's wet. But I'm just going to try to smooth. I put another layer of paint and I'm more careful about my texture. So I'm being a little bit more straight about it, a little bit more smooth about it. And I'm looking, I'm hunting the like right there. It is white showing. Goodbye, second layer. And now I'm being more smooth about it because the texture will matter. And I just put another little, I just make everything shiny one more time. But because the white's gone, it's so much easier to put the second coat on. You're just like, you're just being all delicate about it and just fixing her texture just so she feels more smoothie. So remember when I scribbled at the top? This is a great way to make it nice and smooth. A second coat of smooth. Look at the white showing through. Can you see that on your camera? It's just totally white cap. Oh, second coat. Here's my chance to fix it. I get more paint, but I'm going to paint it this time nice and smooth. And it's so much easier once it's been painted. It's more slippery and smooth. It's because plastic is smooth, right? And slippery. So once you've painted it, now you're just floating on top. And is it going to be a different color? Yeah, it looks a different color because part of it's dry and you're putting wet paint on. So now I'm just worried about it's a lovely texture make sure I put a second coat on and there's no whitey part showing and I'm smooth about it oh make sure the tipsy topsy of your painting gets some paint and the bottom bottom of your painting because sometimes you could pick it look at see I didn't paint it how come I was worried about dirtying up my easel just get it the easel can handle it that's what she's for there better because once it's hanging on a wall you're like hey i missed the spot and you won't have any paint with you so always go back and checky checky corner corner sidey sidey white piece sticking out i like it came out good and i'm i'm using the light in my room for shininess and i'm like trying to get a reflection to see if we got it all looks wet and it all looks even. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Ta -da! Second coat is easier and prettier, huh? I like the first coat. You're like, I don't know. Second coat, smooth. It's way better. And then save your turquoise paint. Who likes to paint rocks and decorate and stuff? So nice, flat, smooth rocks. And I just, I go hunting for them. Well, you could paint a rock turquoise and then let it dry and that's your sky. And then put little, little flowers, you know, fingerprint flowers with our colors. Or you can make a little butterfly, you know, or something. So you can save these colors. And then this teeny tiny paintbrush can write words. Uh, well, it can write block letters. It can't really make, you know, like the curve in letter E, it's very hard for tiny paintbrushes. <clears throat> but block letters works good. Okay, everybody, turn on, if you're painting, turn on your camera. I just lost a whole bunch of people. 
Turn on your camera and only see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people painting now. And there's 29 people here. So turn on your cameras. Help me be a better teacher by letting me see. And you don't have to be in the picture. You're just helping me be a, a better seer. Yeah. Uh, so, I, so I don't move on too fast and frustrate people. Thank you. I think that the teacher can see who's got their camera on or not, huh? They would know. Good job. Okay, so we did it. Feel good about that? Nice. And it will just dry by itself. So this paintbrush is pretty much ruined. And because we're not washing it out right away, um, it'll probably turn plastic hard because this paint is liquid plastic, acrylic, like acrylic nails means liquid plastic. So it'll turn hard and probably won't be able to use it anymore. But it's a dollar store one, so don't feel sad. Okay, so now, now we're gonna do, the, uh, these I call windows. I call these windows because they remind me of stained glass windows. You guys ever been in a church when the sun shines through those pretty windows and each little a piece of glass is pretty? Even though it's in a picture. <laughs> Question? Brenda, are you asking a question? Uh-huh, go ahead, ask a question. Um, what brush are we using? Now we're gonna switch to the itty bitty tiny baby paintbrush. This one? The yeah, just born one, she's the idiot's bittiest. I'm gonna fix that right there without no okay. I got a, something on my painting. Okay, there. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do these windows. The, the well, stained glass windows. I can't help but call them that. But we're, this is how it's gonna be, all right? This is your human brain, but at first, it's very frustrating and confusing and you're probably gonna get irritated or angry, right? That's your brain, too bad. Then, the next one we do, you'll understand it better and you'll be like, oh, I kinda get it. By the third one, you're like, oh, this is easy. Uh, stop talking lady. I got this right. So what should you expect of your brain? Frustration and confusion like what what and then I think I understand it uh, Maybe sort of then then it will get like easy. Okay, just like with math Okay, so now we're gonna paint this window so the first one, and remember, if you're aside, you have to go faster than everyone else because we would like to blend wet colors. So no dilly-dally for you because if it dries, then it won't make new colors. So teeny tiny paintbrush, and we need to get our four colors that make our windows, right? So it's, uh, whoop, they're going to drop. It's white, yellow, pink, and orange, and I'm going to open them all open whoops one's trying to spill on me wait whoa okay there and you could put them in a kind of an order so you could put white then the dark then the pink color which she's really a red but I call her pink and then orange then yellow Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna fill it, we're gonna use white paint like our water. Remember how we don't use water? Because a drip will ruin your painting. So we're gonna fill it with white, but not the, t not the top corner. That's gonna be saved for the dark pink, but just almost fill it up. And we're gonna outline it with white paint. And this is gonna be so annoying for the first one. Expect your brain to be frustrated. We fill, then we fill it in with white. And then we add yellow to it. And how many color values do we need for 3D? Three. So even when we put the yellow, she'll start off very yellow at the top. And then she'll be not, oh, not very yellow, running out of yellow. It's basically white. I'm almost done. And it's completely white, all gone. But I give it permission to do that. And I don't add more yellow. So I'm going to blend until it disappears. Okay, so you're like, what is she talking about? Because you haven't done it yet. Okay, so I'm gonna get a um, tiny paintbrush. I just, oh, and I need a paper towel handy. Because before I get white, I always clean my paintbrush. Just, that's the only time. 
because I would like to keep my white clean. Okay, so I stab my white. Stab! I'm gonna get a bunch of white on there. I don't even care, because how much paint can this paintbrush hold? Just a little bit. So if I stab my paintbrush, it's still the exact same amount every time. Stab! Okay, now I do not want to get rid of my black Sharpie. I need it because I don't remember where it is if I cover it up. And I'm not there to help you draw it. So let's just make a, a line where we would like our uh, white to start. It's kind of like, I just want to protect the top for pink. So I just kind of like put a line. It's like three fingers fit up here. It's not real. The line is not real. I just want to tell you, don't, that's about where white fills up. Uh, I'm already out of white paint. I stab my white paint. Step. Okay, I'm going to stay inside the window. How did we outline? Oh, yeah. I'm inside the white. This is white on white, so you won't be able to see it. But watch me. Watch me. Oh, wait. I have to put your names back so I can see. There. Okay, so I'm inside the line and I put, I stay inside the window and let one hair touch the Sharpie from the inside. And then stab my white paint again. And, and this is white on white, so you can barely see this. But smash. Okay, now I can see the one hair that's going to touch the Sharpie. I did it. But what I do, I outline from the inside. Did I scribble? Did I wiggle? No, because every time I pick up my paintbrush, I don't land in the same spot and I'm totally ruining my Sharpie. Okay, once I have an outline of white, now I just get a stab of white and fill it in. How hard is it to fill it in? Wiggly, 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 smushy, smashy, smushy, smashy. But look at how smooth our edges are because we outlined them. Because what's the rule with the human brain? If you outline it first, you're le less likely to go outside the lines. So we did that for our brain. Okay, now my paintbrush is dirty and I don't care because I'm going to get yellow. So stab your yellow. This is how I, ha I have my, my colors like this. I have them white, yellow, orange, pink. They're in order for me. So then I stab my yellow. Stab! Look how much yellow I got. Are you kidding me? I know. But it's all the yellow you're allowed to have. One stab only. Okay. So where are we going to drop it off at? At the top. It's a big booger of yellow. So get it off your paintbrush and just put it on. Blah. Oh, the booger. Blah. At the tip. Blah. Is it going to stay there? No. Okay. Now I'm going to. Now I can use the tip of my paintbrush and be all tight. See? But. It's only one finger big each time I go lower and I'm trying to run out of yellow, but watch me, watch me. So I'm going to go, I'm going to turn this in. That's not the right texture. This scribble is a texture. Scribbly, 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 scribbly. Okay, watch. Wait, don't look. Wait. Now I cut that and grab the bottom of that and push it a row lower. Then I grab the bottom of that. I should start running out of yellow. And then I push that lower. Now it should be turning invisible. And it's turning lighter and lighter. And now it's just white. And it turned invisible. Okay, now you do it. Can you go back up to the top and get more yellow? No. Each little row is less yellow, less low, less low. Don't go up and get more. Nope. Because that's not a fade. Who knows the fade that I made? Dark medium, light, lighter, go on. And then if you get to the bottom and it's almost clear, you did it right. If it is a solid color, you did it wrong. Okay, so how many times did we get yellow? One time. And we start, we went like a scribbly, 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 scribbly in little rows and ran out on purpose. I less, 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 scribbly, scribbly, but they're little rows, so this is a scribble. And then I grab the bottom of it and let it scribble. And then I grab the bottom of it and let it scribble. And I'm trying to run out of yellow on purpose. Okay, who wants to try orange? Miss Pixie. Uh-huh. Um, I'm on the light still. Do okay, you, you need to go faster. Do I only fill in the top? Huh? Right here. Do I only fill in the top right here? Yeah, we just fill it from, from almost toward the top, and then we fill it in like a little ice cream cone. Okay, now I'm going to get orange. Dirty paintbrush? Don't care. 
Okay, now how many pokes of orange do I get? One. Did you go all the way to the bottom of the ice cream cone where it literally turned invisible? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to get orange. Stab! Stab the orange. Mine keeps trying to fall over. Stand up, orange. There. Oh, I got orange. And where does it go? Above the, just above, oh, above the yellow. In the dry spot, but above it. How many wiggles do you think we can do a uh, little rows until that turns to invisible? I don't know. We'll just have to find out. So let's, that's straight across. That's the wrong texture. Let me turn her into the right texture. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So she's orange. All right. Very boring. Very boring. Now I'm going to push it down halfway or, you know, grab the bottom of it and smoosh it into the yellow and make a new color. So it's going to be, I put the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange, orange and the yellow, yellow and the orange, orange. But who's more dark? Orange. So it's mostly orange. Now I'm going to cut that one in half. <gasps> now I go even lower. Oh, now it's baby orange. Should I stop right there? No, because I haven't hit invisible yet. I cannot get more orange. I have to run out of orange. Now the next row will be even lighter orange. And then the next, I'm running out. Should I stop? No, it hasn't become invisible yet. Then the next row, oh, I'm totally out of orange. I think this is, a, okay, I keep adding more orange. Everybody look, at the last second, I, look at how much orange I have left on my paintbrush. It is not going invisible for me. Can I just use my finger that has no paint on it and try to make invisible world? There. Because I'm not adding anything with my finger. I just would like it to disappear. There. Finally. Disappear world happened. Sometimes it's just a law on your paintbrush and it will not go away. But is this our ugliest one? Yes. How come? It's our first one. So you happen to be on earth. So this is the hardest one because it's the first one. All right. So, did you keep going until it turned invisible, invisible, less, and that's a row, and that's a row, and that's a row, and that's a row, all gone? We did! Okay, now there's still felt on my paintbrush, and I don't care. I'm going to get my pink, and I just poke my pink, poke! I got pink. And then where does pink go? Oh, she goes at the top like a rainbow. Where are you? Oh, there's still yellow and orange in it. So it made this really awesome color because they were all in my paintbrush. I love it. But you know what I worry? Oh, pink is a very dark color and I do not want her erasing all of my beautiful orange. So right when I think it won't go away, maybe I'll use my finger and make a blur. Let's see. I'm just going to see. I don't know. So I go, okay, fill it all pink up there. Pink, pink, pink. Pink, 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 right? Now I get to put the pink in the orange. Oh, and then go lower, lower, and right about halfway. Okay, okay, is it going away? It's not going away by halfway. I'm going to use my finger and blur. You know what else I like about it, though? It makes a neat texture like tie-dye when I use my finger. I kind of like it. It has a better than just a little teeny tiny paintbrush. So it's very pink. Then pinky orange, and then pinky orange yellow, and then it, the pink still wasn't going away. So I'm just going to use my no paint finger and tell it to go, just blur a little bit, please, like that. There. And I do it very, very, very soft because your finger can take off way too much paint. She's a sponge. You're like, you just erased everything, finger. But that's how she is. That's how she rolls. So... Okay, now we got to lick off our paintbrush. No, I'm kidding. I just wanted to see who would do it. Okay, so I get a paper towel. And because I, I need to start a new window. And I need to get white. Well, I'm not putting this dirty paintbrush in my white and ruining all my white. So I just give it a pinch. Pinch, like that. There, she's mostly clean. That's all I care about. Just so there's not big blobs of color. So let's check for 3D. Is it dark at the top, medium in the middle, and lightest at the bottom? 3D. How about when two colors come together? Do they disappear into each other and make a new color where they touch? Or did it stop suddenly like a flag? 
who's got a weird flag moment going on where the color just stopped? Like, no, let's use our finger for anywhere that made a harsh line. It's a line. This is a butterfly ring, huh, Yesenia? I'm just gonna tell it to blur right there on the line and tell the line to calm down. There, goes away. Mm -hmm. Up and down though. Okay, now let's do the other big window over here. Okay, so wait, wait, we just did it. So we have proof we know how. Should this one be slightly different? Yes. Okay, how come? Because you're you have that that one was the frustrating one. Now here comes the easier one. And Daisy, try to protect your black lines better. Because if all of them are that big, you won't you won't be able to see the black lines to do the outlines. So just try to stay in in inside the window. Okay. That one's fine for the first one because we're learning, right? But the rest of them we're gonna stay inside. Okay, now I'm gonna stab my white stab. Okay, we already did this already. So it's copy, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna fill this one in at the top, right? No, cause pink goes up there. So I'll just like cut it off, I guess, near the top. Ooh, I have a little bit of color in my paintbrush. She'll be able to see this better. Now, how do I outline with white paint? I got the white paint and I'm inside the window and I go smash. And I will sneak up and let one hair touch my... Oh, you guys can see it this time because my paintbrush is dirty. And then I let it be nice. How come thick paint is best? Because it's smoother. So I stab my white paint. And I push my paintbrush. Drive my car. Should I pick it up and go like this? Dash, dash, dash. No. Why? Because we are practicing. Do not pick up your paintbrush because we're practicing for smooth lines when we do the black lines. There's a, a method to my madness, right? Because I've already done this, so I have it all planned out in my head. Now I'm going to fill it in with white. Now that I have an outline, right? I'm less likely to go outside the line. Now I just smushy, smushy with the white. Push and pull, smushy, smash. Yeah, now it's white. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Miss Pixie? Question, yes. Um... So there's a little bit like of the orange. Um, like Mine too. Yeah, but because we're adding all those colors anyway, it's not gonna. It's not enough to hurt anything. Yeah. Okay. So who already knows what's gonna happen next? You got it white. And then who goes next? Yellow. Do you think it will be different this time, depending on how much paint you get and how hard you push? Yes. So I stab my yellow step. And where is she going to go? And do I get more yellow? Nope. Nope. This is it. One pokey. Because I'm trying to run out. I'm I, The white is going to eat up all my yellow. So I drop it off like a booger. There. I just put a boogie boogie. Okay. And there she is. Now I'm going to push it down. Down, 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 down. Okay. So this row, this she's like, it's a finger big, right? Fingerprint. And then I go, okay, then half of that. Then half of that, and I'm kind of, I put the white and the yellow and the yellow and the white. Then the white and the yellow and the yellow and the white. And it's lighter, and oh, I, mine is not as yellow as before. I got less of a stab of yellow. I'm just going to forgive it, because she is a creature of nature, and nature is never perfect. So I'm going to go, well, that's just how this one turned out. So there. But I still have 3D. Is it darkest yellow at the top? Medium yellow in the middle and the lightest baby yellow at the bottom. Yes. How fast did you learn how to blend? How fast? You just did it one time and your brain's already, yeah, got this. So this one was what? Confusing? Frustrating? Second one? I think I understand it. Yes, Alexis has a question. I have some orange and the yellow at the bottom. Oh, we're about to ruin it when we put the orange on it anyway. Right? Now I'm going to, with dirty paintbrush, I poke my orange. Poke! Oh, that was a huge glob. Okay, you really didn't want that much. Look how much I got. I must scrape some. Okay, that is like, don't be a spaz. Okay, there. <laughs> okay, and then I get this orange and I put it above. Above! Hello! I'm orange now. Who's darker, orange or yellow? orange so orange is going to try to erase all your yellow so if you think she's not going away clean your paintbrush and do it with a clean paintbrush and then the orange will disappear right because you don't know how much paint you got until you try to make her disappear and you're like she's not disappearing 
because there's a whole bunch of yellow or a whole bunch of orange on your paintbrush. You ready? So now I get to make orangey yellow. So put the orange and the yellow and yellow and the orange. Nice. And it's just one fingerprint big. And then I cut that one in half and push half of it down. Oh, not getting more. I'm trying to run out of orange on purpose. And then less. Less. Oh, my white's drying already. Anyone else having that problem? The paint's feeling sticky already? Holy cow, this is the hot weather. During the, You get so spoiled during the winter when the paint stays wet a long time. <laughs> we'll start going faster. It's totally fine. How come we can go faster? Because we're, it becomes easier and easier to our brain. Okay, now where does paint go? Okay, my paintbrush is dirty. Do I care? No, it makes the prettiest orangey pink ever. Who got, whose is it disappearing? Or whose is darker last time than this time? So, I never met this butterfly. I don't know if that's not how she is. I don't know. But if it comes to a perfect stop, like a line, I'm going to use my finger and tell that line to calm, calm down line. There, you're supposed to be blurry and visible. Okay. There. I don't, it's not supposed to be a line. Right? Use your finger and tell it to blur, disappear. Okay, now, oh, who's doing pink? Are you beating me? So I stab the pink. Oh, I hate that. I'm going to go faster. You're beating me. I put the pink on the top. It's because I talk too much. Okay, there's my beautiful pinkish orange because my paintbrush is dirty. Now, I don't, um, this is when I have to make a guess with my own brain that if the pink will not disappear by itself, I stop using the paintbrush and tell my finger to help. <laughs> okay? So you're going to be like, oh, yeah, mine's doing good. And then you keep going lower and lower. Like, wait, that's too dark. Stop. And then I use my finger. Okay, calm down, little edge. Okay? Because she will just, she's the darkest. So she just keeps going. And you're like, wait, let me use my finger instead. A whole bunch of paint on my paintbrush thing. Okay, but we don't have any harsh lines. It blends, and it's and it's almost like watching. You're like, ooh, ooh, it's pretty, ooh, and your brain is curious. So with those, we, are those matching on yours? Do they come out the same or different? So did you use more paint, less paint, softer with your paintbrush? Did you use your finger more? <gasps> you are learning so many things. Did you learn a lot by watching me? No. When did you actually learn it? By doing it yourself. So you're like, oh, okay. Okay, the more I do it, the more beautiful this is gonna be. Yes. So I clean my paintbrush because I'd like to get some white. Okay, who thinks you went from frustrated, confused to I think I understand it? Oh, uh, Isabel has a question. Um, if we know it's nice, can we go ahead? Yes. I was just gonna say that. So who got through frustrating, confused? And you get to understanding. Who thinks it's easy now? I know. How, how, what good brain, human brain do you have? That's how fast your brain learns. Did you learn by watching me? No, you did it by doing it. So when the teacher shows you math, are you learning math? No, when do you actually learn it? When you do it, right? Okay. So, uh, these are all shaped like ice cream cones. And only do the top. Wait for me to do the bottom because it flips upside down and I just want to show you. Mixie, Question, yes? Um, I got a little bit of the yellow and like the oranges on the um, little like ice cream cone on the next one. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of orange in that one. I think no, it's all going to get painted. I know, but it's all going to get painted over. I wouldn't worry. Because each what well, each of the window is slightly different depending on how what we're learning and how much paint we're using and stuff, right? So each one will be different. So okay, they're little ice cream cones. So we fill them up. We don't fill up the tops. We do them white, then yellow, then orange, then pink. Who thinks you understand it? Who thinks you could go ahead without me? Okay, but remember, I want you to outline the inside with white. Why? We have to protect those black lines. I'm not there to help you draw them if you paint over them. So we're outlining inside the window because if we outline, we're less likely to paint over those lines. Okay? So I stab my white and I'm going to keep talking. Even if you're not listening to me, you just keep talking. And we're not using our black right now, right? Because all of our colors will turn to um, uh, 
gray. So I stab my white. We leave the white, the gray, the black till the end. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. It doesn't matter which one. It doesn't matter. So I fill. Okay, I just cut it off near the top because the tip top is pink. And from the inside, I try to outline it. I'm not very smooth handed today. I have a little waggle in my finger, but does it matter? Nope. Because this painting is human made and not a printer. So it should have a little human waggle to it. Right? And I get more paint. Now I'm going to fill it in. You can make uh, sound effects because it's more funner. Even though funner is not a word. Because it makes it more like play. Okay, now I'm going to get some yellow. And it's one poke of yellow only because I would like to run out of yellow. I'm not trying to make it all yellow. So I put drop off the yellow like a booger. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to scribble that in little tiny rows as big as my finger. Right? And see if how many wiggles, how many rows it takes to turn to disappear. Very yellow. Then medium yellow happens. And then baby, baby yellow, and then invisible yellow, until it's all gone and it disappears. <gasps> Dark, medium, yellow, 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 yellow. And are my lines all perfectly straight when I do my fade? No, they all kind of squiggle into each other. Who's beating me? You can beat me, I don't care. I'm not even going to look. If you feel good and you want to keep going, you don't need my help, you just go. Now I'm going to get the orange book. Every time I think I keep getting too much orange, so I was actually made way more aware that time. And I just tried to get, mm, I just made an adjustment. I thought, I keep getting too much paint, so I'm just going to get less on purpose, right? And then I drop it off, bloop, and then I am very orange, less orange, less orange. Uh-oh, look at mine. Everybody pause. I'm this far, and orange is not dying. Ooh. It's too much paint on my paintbrush again. I'm just going to use my finger and tell it to turn into invisible now because it's not doing it by itself. Okay, there. Now I got a misty, misty orange color. That was frustrating. It usually works for me, but not that time. Nope. Because this is earth and earth is hard. Okay. No, okay. So by, I, I rescued myself by stopping before I made the whole thing orange, right? Because... Orange, orange is very aggressive as a color. Now I'm going to get a pink book and put it in the corner. Whoosh, like a little rainbow. And I like it because she's orangey pink. Now, is the same thing going to happen with pink? Is she going to try to dominate all over my orange? Yes. So if I think it's happening, stop using your paintbrush and try your finger. If you're like, hey, pink, you need to stop. You're not disappearing. I'm, stop it. Hey, mine worked that time. Mine disappeared into, okay, all right for you. That one actually worked for me. I must have got the exact poke of paint, but not every time, because I every time I learn. So I clean my paintbrush, pinch. Or I can lick it off. Don't lick it off. Okay, everybody make sure your camera's on. I'm losing people again. Camera on so I can follow along with you. Juliet just got here, huh? We're going to paint the background turquoise. So we mix our turquoise together with our big paintbrush. So you can paint the background. Okay? Okay. So do the background first. Okay, now I... Does it matter which... Just don't do the bottom ones yet. Now pick any one you want. I don't know. And I, I just stab my white, and I go, okay. And I just don't paint the tippy top, because that's for pink. So I cut it off from my brain. Okay. And then try to outline it from the inside. Who's getting good at nice, smooth outlines? I knew you would, because we already did it like four times. And that's how fast the human brain learns stuff. So, I, I'm not, I knew you guys would figure it out, because you guys have been handwriting since you were babies, so... Oh, I, and my white's dry. More white. Okay. I can tell it's dry because it's scratchy feeling. Who feels like you're already going faster? And they're coming out prettier every time. 
I know, because what is your brain doing? Learning. Okay, so I go, all right, all right, all right. So I get the yellow smush, right, very yellow. And then I try to make her disappear. -y. I never have problems with yellow doing it perfectly every time. I don't know. She's a superstar, and she always does it perfect for me. It's orange and pink that are a little aggressive, you know? So I get the orange poke. I'm trying to be more conscious for how much orange I get because it seems like she's getting too dark. So I'm okay, just some orange. It turns out I don't need as much as I was getting, but I'm making an adjustment. And let's see how far I can get her to go before I turn her into blur. Okay, that's too far. See, she wasn't running out right there. So I'm gonna use my finger now, with no paint on my finger, and just can't, okay, blur. You need to turn into invisible, invisible orange. All right, I did it. Okay, okay. I actually like that. Look, it looks like a, I don't know, like a sunrise. Okay, now I'm going to get pink. Whoop. Whoosh. Very pink in the corner. And now I have to worry about it running out. Let's see. Nope. I came to it. It's not disappearing. I'm going to use my finger. Oh, okay. That's party. I like using my finger. I like the texture it makes. It's more interesting to look at than just little paintbrush scribbles. Fun. See, look at mine. I'll show you. It's drying. Look at that perfectly straight line right there where my pink is drying. I didn't do a very good job blending. You know, it should have been more, in, the edge is supposed to be more invisible. Maybe I'll just use my finger and tell it to calm down. You're supposed to be blurry, you edges of colors. There. Okay, clean my paintbrush. Pitch, who's beating me? What? Stop it. Okay, I'll go faster. Who Who's really uh, liking watching the colors change? It's my favorite part of painting. Like, to try to get a soft blur, to try to get my colors to change gently, to all that stuff is the best. That's what, like, I'm, I'm, I paint a, a whole bunch, but it never stops my brain from going, ooh, like that, every time. Now I'm going to get this little, mine turned out skinny right here. Oh, oh well. So I cut off the top and fill it in, outline it from the inside. So I don't hurt my, 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 there. Don't want to hurt my black outline. And then fill it in. Okay. And then I get a poke. Who's beating me? Yeah. Oh, you're on the same one as me? All right. And I get yellow. Swoop. Juliet, you don't worry about us. You just paint your background. Because I'm making a YouTube video of this too. So if you miss anything, you can watch it later. Okay, so just enjoy, have fun painting the background. You'll catch up with us, don't worry. Okay, now I'm gonna go, oh, less yellow, less yellow, who always does it perfect. Cause she's so delicate. And then how much orange? Look how small my piece is. I think I need way less orange than normal. I'm gonna make an adjustment and just make, let's try to get less. Orange that is like I caught a little that's a little bit of orange that time. Oh yes, it was a good call. I was very delicate with my orange and now I'm gonna blend it at the last second with my finger. <gasps> yep. I, I I was aware of how much paint to get. Who's who can tell how much paint to get already? I know. How'd you do that so fast? How uh, did we even talk about how much paint to get anymore? No. You're just doing it. She was like, yeah, I already know this lady. I've already figured it out. You can stop talking now. Bam. Oh, didn't blend. Finger. Okay. Who's getting nice, blendy, interesting edges where it's ju just interesting. You're just like, hmm. Look at, but you can't really tell good until it starts to dry and like, oh, because the darks get darker and the whites get brighter. So as it dark, as it dries, you're like, it's changing. It's even prettier. I can't believe it. 
Okay, I'm jumping to the other side. Anyone with me? Anyone copying? Me? Yeah, you're at the same moment as me. And then whose is way darker than mine? Who uses way more paint than I do? Yours should be unique and different than mine, right? You should not be matchy matchy me, right? You could. What if you go a little rogue? I'm, it's your painting, right? You're still under. Are you understanding blending and all that? Yes, you are. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my white step. Okay, I have to pick one on this side now. And this is awkwarder for me because it's farther away because I have to paint funny like this. So I must do the middle one. I don't know. And just cut it off. Whoop! And I outline it from the inside. Ooh, there. Okay. I just went, I just pushed into the outline. So who finds this easy now? Look what your brain did. Look how fast your brain learned that. You have you have mastered blending by watching me blend or by you blending. That's right. You did it. Your hand and your eyes did it. I'm just talking. You're doing everything. Okay, now I'm in a tiny, tight, way less, I'm getting less orange than I was before because I find that it, it comes, it's just, I'm able to make it disappear faster. So orange, bleep. And then I get to halfway, see, <laughs> did it again. I want, I want this a pair. I better use my finger until it to stop. Calm, blurry, blurry, invisible. Okay. Okay. And then I can get pink, pink. I love the color that pink and orange and yellow make. You know what it reminds me of? Do you guys know a missile pop? Those orange, pink, and yellow swirly ice creams. You know those missile pops? It's the color of a missile pop. What flavor is a missile pop? Sugar? I don't think it has a flavor. It's just sweet. There. Mm? Who's beating me? You are, and you are, and you are. Okay, Christopher beat Christy. me. Isabel and Brianna, question, yes? Um, for the, when we outlined, like, the black part, can we outline the, from the, like, uh, marker? Because I got some orange oh, yeah. and white. You're gonna, this. you're gonna redraw the black lines with black paint. Oh. Yeah. Okay, who, feel, who feels like you're getting really good texture now? And you're really exploring the amount of paint you get and how hard you push with your paintbrush and you're just painting away like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is how I always do it. That's right. Who's beating me? Look at you, guys. Oh, I gotta go faster. Woo! I hate being beaten. You guys are so lickety fast. Okay. Watch you. Who's outside? Are you finding you're having to rush because of the, the heat and it's drying your paint? Oh, okay, good. Just go then. Got the yellow. And I got the orange. Oh, look what I almost did. Look how much orange I just got. I almost put that on my... Okay, that... Good thing I caught it said I was going to do better with how much paint I get. And that was almost a mistake. Okay, there, I got it off. I just need some. I went like this right up to the painting and went, whoa. I was almost about to make a globule. Miss Pixie? Yeah. Um. I'm searching um, for, oh, it's uh, Jalissa. Yeah. When we're done doing the top one, can we do the bottom one? Yeah, I'm almost, let me, let me, you catch up because you have one more to do and then I will show you. Because I only have one more to go to. But I see Isabel's waiting for me to show you the bottom one already. Because Isabel's like, what? You guys are slow. Okay, let me hurry then. I'll hurry. Okay, just wait for me and let me do one more of mine and then I'll show you the uh, the bottom one. Because look, let me show you here. It's upside down. It's all I want. It's the same. 
but it's upside down. So the white's at the top and the dark's in the bottom. The reason is, I never said this, all the brightest parts are near her heart like a fire. All the darkest parts are farthest away from her heart, right? So I would have to do it upside down where I have to push up, 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 like a little flame, right? And let me, it looks way better with the fingerprint one. Let me look at With the fingerprint, it really does look like fire. But you have to go up, 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 up. So the brightest ones are closer to her heart, that's all. So I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Okay, I'm gonna get the white paint, fill in mine, outline it. Almost ready. Get a glob of white paint. Stab. Fill it in. And poke my yellow. Stab. Super yellow. And then my poke of orange. And this time I'm going to be way more on purpose. Okay. Better. Orange. Okay. It's running out. It's running out. It's running out. And then I don't think it's gonna run out, so I'm gonna use my finger to get to invisible. You never know. Depends on the poke of the paint. Okay, because every time it's different. And then pink. Do you notice that every one of your windows is unique? How fun is that? You're trying to make them the same, and you can't because they're all unique. Because each one, your hand and your eye are doing it. It's the same colors and the same paints, but each one is unique. Okay, now I will show you. Everybody pause what you're doing. Even if you're busy right now, can you pause? Just give it a pause and watch me do one of the bottom ones. Even if you're busy, I just want to interrupt, okay? So I'm going to do one of these. Oh, and another thing. I was making you do one at a time because we were learning. We can do four of these at a time, and then the other four. But I was worried these would dry and ruin everything, right? But we, these are smaller, so we can. But I just wanna show you one. I get my paint, bleh, my white. But this time, where is the pink gonna be? Bottom. So I cut off the bottom with my white, and then outline it going up like this. Can you see it with my little dirty paintbrush a little bit? And then fill it in up, up, up. Watch me do it. You're not painting right now. Can you watch with your eyes real quick? So everybody stop painting just to so show you one of them. Okay, and then you go. Then I get the polka yellow. And these are smaller, so you don't need as much paint. But I just go swipe. But now I'm gonna push up like fire. Up, 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 running out, running out, running out, all gone. Nice. <laughs> then I get how much orange? These are smaller. So I'm consciously getting a little babier, a babier orange piece. And it goes whoosh. Up, 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 Fire, fire, fire. It's running out. It's running out. It's running out. <laughs> and then pink. I just see how easy it is because you already know how to do this. I just wanted to show you one. And then I go up, 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 ping, 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 Okay, but watch this. I can do three or four at a time. I'll do all, I can do four at a time. I just do all the yellow parts, white. I mean, all the white parts, white, white, white. More paint. Outline. More paint. Outline. More paint. How come I can go so fast? Is it because I'm better at it than you? No, I've done it before. So my brain's like, easy. I'm at the easy part, right? I've passed the frustration part. It's a little easy for me. So now I just go, okay. Then I fill it in. White, white, white. Then I get yellow. And I go yellow, yellow, yellow. And then I go up, 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 up. Up, up, up. See how I can do three at a time now? How come? Because we don't have to go slow. Because we've mastered the concept. And now we are decorating our best self all by ourselves. So I can go orange, orange, orange. And then go up, up, up. Whoa, okay, that was a lot of orange for me. Look it, it didn't disappear. I have to use my finger at the top. Calm down, orange. Jeez Louisies. Okay, this is more better, yeah. Okay, up, 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 up,
<laughs> I love it when it disappears. I feel so successful. Like I got the exact right amount of paint and it turned into invisible all by itself. Oh, mastery. Like I just nailed that and you guys are all proud of me right now. And then I do the bottom bottoms and then I let them, the pink climb, 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 like fire, 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 fire. fire. Oh, see how I did three at a time? Boom, you can too. Who thinks the bottom ones are gonna be a thousand times easier than the top ones? Yes, of course. How come? Cause, do you totally understand how to do that? Yes. Do you have proof that you know how to do this? Yes. So you wanna see me do four in a row again? Like a fast hyper spaz? But I am protecting my, my blick. I do, cause I can't redraw it for you cause I'm not there. Okay, so I get the white poke. So I fill it in a little dash where I think the pink is gonna live at. Just like that, right? And then I'm gonna outline it from inside. So I go like this, watch you, Sanya. I mean, Juliet. Juliet, this is how we outline all of our windows to protect the black line. I land inside and I let one hair touch the black line. And I push my paint. Did I wiggle? No. I just get white paint and I let the, I just land inside and I let one hair touch the black Sharpie. And then I fill it in with white. Because once you outline something, you're less likely to fall out of the line. And look at I can still see black Sharpie. I didn't kill it. Now I'm going to outline the rest. Stab the white. Outline. Whee! Flip. More paint. I land on the inside. Push. I like the top. I just turn the corner on the top like a U-turn. That was smooth. I just did that. I don't usually turn like that, but I just nailed it. Boom. Like a U. U-turn. Okay. Then I get the yellow and I put a piece of yellow on the bottom, 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 and scribble up in little tiny rows. Up, 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 up. I'm running out of yellow. Yellow always does what I say. She's like the good child, huh? Who's the aggressive child? Orange or pink? We're always going, stop it, color. <laughs> Calm down. Stop erasing all the other colors. Ugh. I can get orange. Look at my orange. Ew. It's got a bunch of colors in it and I don't even care. <laughs> but I, huh? These are little. So I'm going to get little, little yellows. Little ton of pocket yellows. Remember, if, you, if you're going nice and slow and you're not ready to do the black outline, I just want you yeah. to watch us do the black outline when it's time because you can just keep painting. And as long as you see how to do it, your brain will go, oh, yeah, I can do that later. Uh-oh, my orange isn't running out again. I think orange is my bad, is my bad kid. He will not behave. So I'm going to use my finger and tell her to blur all by herself with my finger. Oh, because I would like it to turn invisible. And there's a perfectly straight line right there. Me no likey. Blur, blur. Turn to fuzz. Turn to mist. They're better. You know what? Compared to this one, look how much less paint I used, you guys. That is so, it's still me painting it. But I did not, look how much more of color I used on the first one. This is turning very pastel for me. It's still me, and I'm different every time I paint this. I find that amazing. How do I do that? Why would my brain do that? I don't know. My brain wants to be unique all the time. Now I get to make the pink, pinkish orange. 
Why am I being so different? I am different every day, huh? Good mood some days, crappy mood another day. Some days I am all done with my day and I just sit on the couch and just pout. Nothing went wrong and I'm all mad. And my husband's like, what's wrong? I had nothing. I just, pfft. and then other days, yay, I have no problems. Like what a weirdo. I have no idea what changes my mood. And I think about it and think about it. Did somebody say something mean to me? Did I, did, what did I do today that make my, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a very unique and complicated person. As long as I don't say anything hurtful when I'm feeling sad. You know, I don't want to hurt other people, but I am different. So I would expect my mood to be unique. Juliet, are you just waiting on your windows? Are you, are you trying to do them? Or are you just going to wait? Mm, yeah, You're all done with your windows? Can I see? Did you decorate them? Oh, you're still doing them. Okay. Because remember, you don't have to be, you got late, so it, however you do them is how you do them. No, no worries. Take all the time you need. You can take a break and have dinner and come back. You just have to, you know, put the lids on your paints. Who thinks their little bottom ones are interesting because you're, you're like, what is, to, what, how, how it's behaving different than how the other ones were behaving. But it's still you, still the same paint, but different. Oh, look at you go, Ariana. What? What? Okay, now that you have all the black parts done, I wanted you to wait so I could show you my trick. But you can switch now to the bigger square with the black. Because this would, the baby one would take too long. But she, you need to not use her tip. Okay? Watch. This is my explanation for Ariana. Well, everyone can hear this. But here's my piece of bread. Ariana, watch. Ariana, so here's my piece of bread. Here's my butter. I'm going to butter my bread. That would cut up my bread, right? So use the flat sides and peanut butter the paint on with a flat paintbrush. So I'm holding it really kind of flat like this. Don't hold it like a pencil. She'll keep scratching the black paint off. It's too sharp. So you have to lay it down smooth and flat and peanut butter the black paint on. Does that make sense? It goes on better. And you'll probably have to do the black twice, just like when we did the background twice, because black is kind of a see-through color. And no rushy rushy. I have like uh, four people finished, right? But everyone else is still finishing their bottom. So no rushy rushy, okay? Miss Pixie? Yeah, question, Brianna? Um, I feel like I'm out of the black lines again. But look, it's just, they're just straight. The bottoms are easier because they're just straight. Straight. So there's nothing interesting or curvy about them, right? So they'll just go straight up and round at the top. Straight up, round at the top. So that's not bad. And we're just resting. So if you're busy, busy painting, you keep going. But if you're resting, it's like, sorry. Did you know there's two kinds of people in every classroom? There's the people that finish early. And it's terrible for them because they finish early. So they start talking and they get in trouble and messing around because they're bored. And then there's the other kind of people that never have enough time to finish anything and they start to panic. And that's terrible. So whichever one you are, just be glad you're not the other one. <laughs> At least you're not, you know, you're not in a panic because you don't have enough time or you're always in trouble because you're talking. Like, it's just what kind of human brain you ended up with. Just forgive it. Feel like, yeah, I seem to finish early and get in trouble. You're right. But... I'd rather have my brain than anyone else's brain. Or, you're always in a hurry, can't, not enough time to finish. Well, yours always comes out with just right, so whatever. Just go with it. Ask me the question again. 
Do you the black? I was waiting on the black and waiting for a few more people to catch up with us. So can we have a, like a three minutes of patience? Three minutes is like two commercials. It's very short. Because some people are like literally almost done. And if we could have more people together, we'll feel, we'll feel more um, accomplished. I see Isabel's almost done. And Brianna's almost done. And Brenda's almost done. And Yesenia's just finishing up. And Brianna's doing some tech, a little bit of highlighting. Alexis has one more row left. See, we're almost finishing. But then, um, Ritza, did I say that right? She is finished, and Jalisa's is finished, and Christopher's finished, and they're bored, and they're finished first. But luckily, we're not in a class, so we, they don't get in trouble. And Brenda's finished, right? Jacqueline's finished. Or is Jacqueline still painting? You still painting? Yeah. Okay, you go. Just go, go, go. And the Escamilla family, I can't see where you are because I can't see your painting. So just give me thumbs up if you're doing good. Yay. Okay, keep going. Decorate, decorate. Now we have two minutes of patience left because we're finishing. <clears throat> Who's attempting four at a time? Oh my, see? You could never have done that when we started. Excellente. With your brain that is just learning like that. All the, and then how much paint do you get? The exact amount every time. What? I'm doing um, all of them at one at a time. Oh, you're doing one at a time. Okay. I just say four at a time because it, it, it just it feels so accomplishing to be efficient too. And to trust myself that much to be able to do four at a time and trust myself. Okay, one and a half minutes left of patience left <clears throat> for those who are bored and waiting. But everyone else is rushing, so be glad it's not you. My arm feels like it's going to fall off. Oh, <laughs> you know why? This is why when we draw and write, our arms are resting on the table. But when we paint, our arms have to be up. So what, what muscle are we using? And we're like, do we ever use this muscle to hold up our arm like this? Never. Just give your arm a stretchy. She'll be fine. Because we're not going to ask her to do it tomorrow, right? But you know what I always say? Is kids will be exhausted and swimming. And you tell them to get out of the pool, and what do they say? No, five more minutes, right? If you're actually tired, you can actually push yourself a little harder. Because you guys are kids, and you're just like, you just ignore the pain, and you do it anyway. Just like if you're swimming. Hey, Isabel and Yesenia, your paintings are like this on my screen, and they look so pretty, like they can fly off together right now. Like one's facing this way and one's facing this way. They look so pretty. Oh, uh, Yuritsa and Jal Jalisa's paintings are too. Okay, so uh, finish up uh, what you're doing right there, and then I want to show you the black. Okay, so find your black and don't panic. No, 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 just keep going, Alexa. Keep going. Remember, I'm the, I'm the slave driver and I have to be pushing you so hard, harder than you think you could. And I'm like, you can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 go. You're stronger than you think you are. Yes. Miss Dixie? Mm-hmm. I feel like got like a little bit of orange and red on my tail on the background. Oh, you know what? Your finger, your finger, use your a clean finger and get a little bit of teal and just go uh touchy touchy. Fixy fix. Okay. It'll it will look lighter than your background because it's wet. 
Alexa, I'm, I'm waiting for you because I, I, I don't want you to panic. You just keep going. Jacqueline, are you all done? No, you have a few more, but I, you're going to keep, you, you keep painting your, uh, your windows. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to get our black paint. No, Alexa, I see you. I'm just saying it out loud for all of us to get our black paint. No panicking allowed. Okay, and then we're gonna, I wanna show you how to do your uh, lines. So remember when we were outlining the inside of our of our uh, windows? Remember that? Bre Brenda, mute yourself. Okay, there was an echo right there. So uh, remember how we were outlining all like smooth and not picking up our paintbrush smooth? That is the rule when doing your lines. And Alexa, I, Alexis, I see that you have two windows to do. Right? So just don't do this side black. Do it later. Do it later. We'll do this part black and black and black and black. And you just wait for these. Okay? Because you can't let wet black touch these colors. You have to wait till the black dries all the way. Then come back later and do these two. Okay? But if this, if you outline these in black and then try to deck, you'll yank on some black by accident and make a mistake. And whoa! Right? So just... Ignore these till like tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Who's ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I get the black paint and I said it like three times, but I'm ready. And I get my little paintbrush, the little itty bitty baby paintbrush. And I stab it because I need a lot of paint. I have far to go. Uh, Paisley, you can cut, you can uh, finish tomorrow. You guys can finish tomorrow because this will be on the YouTube video and fast forward to this part. Just okay. clean your the little paintbrush at, uh, so it's clean so it won't dry stiff and plasticky. Okay, okay, so I got my paint. Watch me. Okay, everybody watch. I'm going to put my paint down. Everybody, you ready? So even if you're busy, watch me. Here I go. So I touch, I touch the starting line, right? And do I wiggle my paintbrush or scribble? No, I just push. Touch it and push. Why is she smooth on both sides? I had a lot of paint, and the paint falls out to the to, on either side like a bulldozer. I push the bulldozer, and paint beads out on the sides like sand on either side of a bulldozer, right? So, and then what? Look, I have a little bit that's a little dry right there. I'm just gonna drive my car right on the line again and stop. Okay. But should I pick up my paintbrush and scribble? No, just push. Your paintbrush, fold it over and push. And then what if you run out of paint before you get to the top? Just get more paint. And stab your black stab. Now let's try another one. You just land at the starting line and just drive your car on the black road. Push. And what if it has a little waggle? Well, these are veins of a of a butterfly. <laughs> right? So they're not all straight. And are we using the teeny tiny itty bitty paintbrush? Everybody pause and look up. You're at your itza? The t we're still using the teeny tiny baby paintbrush. We switch to the big square paintbrush when we fill in this big part. So because this would take too long. Okay, switch to the baby paintbrush. And now I'm gonna drive my line. Oh now I can do the other side. But Alexis is going to avoid the other side just for now. Hey, uh, Mr. Steve, yes. The big square one? Yeah, we're going to look at, I'll show you. Here's the big square one, right? The big square one. She works really good for right here. It's way better than the tiny paintbrush, but not doing the tiny lines. She's way too big. Switch back to baby paintbrush. And then just push your push your paintbrush, push. And I'm just doing the inside lines first because they're the hardest, the ones that make me the most nervous. Because I'm I'm drawing the black lines back in there and and push. Oh, that was not enough paint. I didn't stop and get more paint. Man, it has to be thick, smooth paint to make a nice, smooth line. There. Okay, I did it. Ha. Okay, now what about the bottom ones? 
straight line, straight like a number one, a number one, a number one. Easy, those are easy. Because all the lines are exactly one paintbrush thick. And do I scribble? No, I do not. And look at me, look everybody, do not lean against your painting like this to try to balance. What will happen? You'll smear your paint. So keep your hand away and push. Fold over your paintbrush and push. Keep your hand away from your painting. It's on an easel to keep you from having to float your hand. Don't rest your hand. Everything smears, okay? It's hard, but that's why other, other schools don't offer painting because they don't trust their kids to do good jobs. But we know. Okay, after, everybody pause and look up. After I have my inside lines, what's obvious? Go around and do around the outsides all the humpty humps? Yes. Okay, keep going. Now go back to painting. Let me show you. Mm, go around my windows. Push. Lots of black paint. Then push. The thicker it is, the smoother my line. Push. Oh, push. There. And then I go, round, drive my car. And then I could do this one. Oh, oh. I just set it down. My hand is moving. There. Hook my paint. Drive my car. Question. This broke. Uh oh. Your little paintbrush broke? Yeah. Oh. Can you, you could just put it back on. If it, if it broke off, if the plastic broke, you're in trouble. But can you stick it back on? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You might have a craft paintbrush in your house if you really do break it. Who's tired? We've been doing this for an hour and a half already. That's why. I hear I hear an echo. Can somebody make sure that you're um on mute? I think yeah, thank you. I'm driving my car. Have you guys been watching baseball? Um, no? In your mm -hmm. house? Is someone watching baseball in your house? Do we um, uh -huh, question? Do you outline the lines or do we like draw it? Uh who's asking that? Um I'm trying to look. Oh, Cecilia, what was your question? Are we still outlining the lines? The windows? Like, yeah, the windows. Uh-huh. Uh, watch. As soon as I have my, uh, my outline in my windows, now I can outline my uh, butterfly. And the butterfly black is on top of the turquoise. So there isn't any white shine. And I just go, oh, forget that. Let's switch to our bigger paintbrush for that. Oh, that is way smoother with the bigger paintbrush. Look at that. Because we don't have to be tiny with the outline. And I'm still trying to be smooth though. Oh, I ran out of paint. That looks terrible. It's all dry. More paint stuff. Oh, look it. I didn't go all the way to the bottom. There's white showing underneath my line. Terrible. No, that the black's on top of the turquoise because the butterfly is on top of the sky. Okay, let me let me hurry. You guys are beating me by a million. I have to outline my thing because the. And then I like doing around my um the bottom ones because like M's M, M, like that. That makes me laugh. And the bottoms are like U, U, U. Oh, not enough paint. I just hop over them like a little M's. M. 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 So what did we learn already? Look how proud you are of you. Who's doing nice straight lines? How did you learn that? We practiced 50 million times when we put the white outlines on there. And when we outlined our butterfly. What a good brain you have. 
you're doing this for reals, just listening to my voice and looking up every once in a while, your brain is doing this all by itself because you have an excellent human brain for learning. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to my bigger, bigger paintbrush to do the outside line because it's way smoother and faster. And it, and it holds more paint so I can go farther. Yes. I don't have to stop as often, like with the tiny paintbrush, she can only hold so much paint and then you have to like stop, because that's how she is. You're all done? So am I. Look at me. I just finished. Okay, now look at all this. Everybody pause and look up. So everybody pause, push pause, right? Even if you're busy, look up. So I outlined all of my windows and the outline. You know what's left? Everything that's white now has to be black, right? Because look, and it's gonna look really scary and haunted with all that black. But we put little white decorations around it, and I'm going to show you that. But it's it, it turns it from looking Halloween to like little diamonds because it's white on black. Okay? So I just go, and I just get my black paint, and I just go, bye white. And I just go hunting. You're white. You got to go. And you know background paint showing. No background. Goodbye. Get go. Get out of here. But I'm using the flat side of my paintbrush like this, as smooth and flat as I can. The tip of my paintbrush will scratch the paint off. So let's hold it, hold it flatter. Look how I paint. Everybody pause, look. I hold it flat, flat, flat. I can't hold it straight ahead like a paint, like a pencil or nothing happens, it's too sharp, okay? As soon as you start doing it a little bit, your brain will go, oh, I see. I'm, I'm smoothing it on like peanut butter. It's not a pencil. It's more like a tool. And I'm, I'm pushing my paint around, smooshing it, flattening my paint. I pu push, push, push. There. Flat, flat, flat. Who's be Is anyone else beating me? I just want to know. Okay, look at you can already tell. Can anyone see that on my black paint? Look at this white is showing. I just painted it black, and all these pieces of white are showing through. Can I do a second coat on my black real fast, fast, and find all those see through white things? Yes. Just like the background, like two layers where you're like the first layer just gets rid of the white and then the second layer goes back for the fixes. So you're like, just get rid of the white first and buy out goes, but second layer kind of goes hunting for the little see-through parts way easier. If you try to do all perfect at once, you're like, it's time consuming, but just one layers to get rid of all the white, blah, 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 blah. second layer is for the good black texture that doesn't have any see-through parts. You know, I, I once told a class that all butterflies have black veins. And they said, nuh uh. They told me I, I wasn't true. So I had to go look it up. Oh my gosh, there are some butterfly designs that have no black veins that are actually invisible and stuff. Cecilia, yeah, don't use the big paintbrush. She's just uncontrollable and she's just, well, she's just too big. Don't use the giant paintbrush. She's just, she just can't be controlled. What, what'd you say? I accidentally picked up the long. Oh, I saw you do it and I was like, oh, that's going to be a, a bumpy paintbrush. Because she's all dry, huh? 
and that dried paint is on her and she's all lumpy and she's no good. Look at me smash my paint. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Okay, that's my first layer. And look at as it's drying. What? What are all of those see-through things doing? Well, I got rid of the white. Now I can go back and touchy-touchy real quick. And it doesn't take very much paint to touch up. Remember when we touched up with the background? And all you had to do was touch it real soft. You're like, yep. It gets rid of it real fast. You don't have to use very much paint. You just go swipe, swipe, and put another second layer on it. Fix, 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 fix. I don't know how these little white, I think I paint it so good. Oh, I'm so good at this. And every time I have little white dots that peek through and you're like, hey, you little white dots, you get out of here. And I just put a little second layer on them and they're gone. Goodbye. But I know that about paint because I painted before. So I don't even freak out putting my first layer on because I knew. I knew it was going to happen. And so I just go, whatever paint. We'll just, we'll do it your way. You want two layers, we'll do two layers. Okay, and everybody pause, even if you're busy and in a different spot for me. Everybody pause, stop painting. Er! Okay, I want to show you the head and the, um, the antennas real quick. Okay, so my fingerprint is my head. Look, I get paint on my finger and I just put a little red right hand right there. Super easy, way easier than using a paintbrush that will never make a nice circle. And then I get my um, my teeny tiny paintbrush and how much paint do I need? To, do I want them really thick or thin? If I want them thin, I do it very little paint. And look at me, I'm, everybody pause. How soft am I holding my paintbrush right now? So soft. If I hold it like a pencil, what am I gonna do? Push hard, <gasps> they're gonna be fat. So I hold it real gentle, real gentle, like with my fingertips, watch me. And I go straight up and a six. Right? Or they're perfectly straight with a dot. Both are cute. And then I'm just, how am I holding it? How soft? So, so so soft, right? And I just touch your head and go straight up and a G. And however they turn out, you can't go back over, do it, or fix it. So you're just like, that's how my butterfly is. Even if they're different lengths, because that's how they smell, like this, right? So if they're different lengths, she happens to be looking at something smelling something so don't worry okay so keep going I just knew we were all at different spots so I wanted to pause and show you that one thing so whatever part you're at is the perfect part for you and your hand and your brain okay because if you we go over I'm still going to show you everything and if you're not done you just I've already showed you everything and none of it's hard so you just keep going. We do not have to finish at the same time. When I would do this, when I'd come in person for a small class, we'd all get to pick our own colors. Our own color for our background, our own color for our butterflies, and we'd pick three colors that were complementary, and we'd paint our, and everybody's butterfly would be different. That was super fun. But if even if you put it on gallery right now, you'll see that every single person's butterfly this time is unique. Alexis, just go ahead and do the outline. Just do half of it. Who cares? Good job. Oh, look at some of your antennas are unique, right? So, cute. Anyone doing the straight ones with the dots? I see that one a lot. But I like, I like a little on mine. Yesenia, can I recommend switching to the bigger paintbrush, the big square? She can hold more paint and she can go for like, like eight inches before you have to stop and get more paint. Yes, just poke and push and you'll be pleased. It's a fatter line, but it holds more paint and can go for a long time.
And do you guys get her little tail in there? It looks like a V, right? So if you painted over it by accident with your doing your background, you could draw a V super easy, right? Mm -hmm. Who, after your black's done, it looks a little haunted, doesn't it? So everybody push pause, even if you're not done, everybody push pause, okay? I wanna show you the pattern of the white dots, okay? It's, they never touch, okay? And we do them with our fingerprint to do the big one, because it's perfectly round, right? But you can't swirl them in because our black is wet and that'll just make gray. So you just go poke, like a little stamp. And then they're two fingers apart, right? Two, and none of the tummy gets it, just the outside edge. And then I use the stick of my blue paintbrush because she's so tiny. And I use the stick and I put two little, like baby itsy bitsy fingerprints in between. Poke, poke. And I get more paint. Poke, poke. More paint. Poke, poke. Right? So I'll show you on mine. So you just keep painting now. I just wanted to show you that, but watch, I get my thing, my, I'm gonna hold my cup because it's easier. But I just go dot, dot, and they're two fingers apart, never touching. And as soon as I start running out of paint, I immediately get another poke, otherwise the black shows through and it just looks gray. We want them, we like the high contrast. The white on the black look like diamonds. It always makes me excited to see. And you're like, what? It looks so sparkly. And they're two fingers apart. I literally put my two fingers up there every once in a while to make sure I really am spacing them apart. Because too close together, they look funny. This is this is a real butterfly pattern. Is uh, big dots with two baby dots in between. I copied it from a real butterfly. And now I get to get one of my stick like this. And I get and I just use the stick, not this paintbrush part. She's filthy and disgusting. And what will she do? She'll go bleh and make it ugly. Like so I use the stick. Boop. And because it holds like no paint, a microscopic speck, you have to go like this. Paint dot dot paint dot dot. It's a little bit annoying. But she can only hold a teensy tiny beachy 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 paint. So you go poke. Dot, dot, paint, dot, dot, paint, dot, dot. And what if you're not ready for this? So, I showed you how. You could do it later. It's not hard. That is a simple, itty-bitty, little baby pattern. A baby could do this. She's like, I'm not at the same spot as everyone else. So, your painting is unique and takes a unique amount of time. So, just keep going. Because nothing we're doing is hard right? Because we've learned all these skills. So it's not like you're not at frustration and confusion. You're just worried about time. And you have all the time in the world because if I hang up, could you just keep painting? Yes. So it's not, it's just a time thing. You already have all the skills to, to do all these things. This one takes a long time. Paint, poke, poke. Oh my God. It's, it's a lot. I'm a little bit annoyed with how tiny this is. Who's, you're done? I have to see it. I have to see it. Oh, Cecilia, now you're ready for your tiny baby dots. I already did the dots. Oh, I just can't see them? Oh, that's why. Beautiful. Look how cute she is. I'm still putting my dots. You are fast. And some people are still doing their second coat of black because you want to make it nice and smooth. That's totally fair. Right? Fair, fair, fair. Because I don't like seeing the peek through, so you have to do it twice. So who thinks this is coming out better than you thought it would? When you saw the painting, you were like, oh no, <gasps> I'm probably going to ruin this one. And now that you're painting, you're like, oh, I got this. Sure. People are going to be jealous of me when they see this. 
because you actually painted this by yourself, practically listening to the radio. And you just looked up every once in a while to make sure you understood what my voice was saying. Good job. Look how brave you were to just like dive in and start painting and go, I'm, I'll figure it out. Chip. And go as slow as you need to. Do a good job and then just enjoy the, the watching it happen with your hand and your, your hand and your eye are just doing it. And if you are touching up your turquoise, I do recommend using your finger because all your other paintbrushes are filthy and they're just going to make a dirty color. So your finger is nice and clean or use your other finger that's nice and clean and just touchy, 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 touchy. Good job, you guys. <laughs> 